Whenever you make a website, normally when you select stuff, it has this bluish color to it and wherever you're going, it always has that bluish color to the selection. But did you know you can actually modify the color of your selection? So you can go from this blue selection, which is the default everywhere, to having a nice yellow selection or something else that fits the branding of the site a lot more and makes things stand out and I think makes the user experience just a little bit more interesting. In this video, we're going to be seeing exactly how we can do it and it's super easy. All right, so to be able to change a selection from the blue like this, all we have to do is use the selection pseudo element. And when we do selection like that, we can set a background on that. So we can say background, and in this case, it's FFE 400 C. Oh, I did C, I should, I want that as an E actually, like that. And we can come in, you can see it is changing the color. Now, one thing with it though, is down here it's working well, but up here, I'm not a big fan of the white text in the yellow. So we can actually modify a few more things. I could come in and also change the color to be, let's say black. So now I always know that in my selection, I'm gonna have black text with the yellow and you can see it down here as well. Now, just so you know, you are very limited in what you can change. There's background, there's color, but you cannot set its background color, actually. We can't change any background property. For example, you cannot set a background image. It's just gonna completely ignore it. Uh, you can't. You could, I guess, do something like a text shadow. We'll just do zero, zero, 10 pixels white for some reason, uh, which isn't. It's really hard to see, but there is a white glow that's coming on my text. You can see it a bit more at the top here on the bigger text. I don't know why you'd want to. I guess you could turn off text shadows if you had one to make sure that there are no text shadows on, stuff like that. And we'll put the link to the MDN if you uh, down below where you can see the little list they do have and you can play around with those. But in general, the only things I'm changing are the background color and the color to make it work really well with the brand. And just in case you're curious about the site that we were doing this with, this site here is something that I did. The course is called the Responsive Web Design Bootcamp and it, this final project was a three page site, fully responsive using a CSS grid along with a lot of other cool things. There's Flexbox involved and all of that. If you'd like to know more about the course and how we can build out websites like this, it does start much earlier on. We build our way up. We go an entire module on Flexbox, an entire module on grid, as well as a bunch of other ones. It is a shade over 15 hours of content in all. So you can check that out in the link. There is a link to that in the description below if that is something that interests you. Of course, if you have any questions, comments about the course or selections or anything else, please leave them down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching for this quick tip. And if you haven't yet subscribed and you do like quick tips like this or big, long, in-depth things like I tend to like to do as well, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another tip. I do make at least one video a week. Sometimes we have extra ones such as this one right here. Thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons for helping support everything I do here on my channel. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.